don't need it all. We are on season two of The Walking Dead. Yes, we are. So on the last episode, we did the DLC 400 Days, which is like a, a prelude or a setup to uh, this season, I guess. Uh, someone did say in the comments, uh, dunk, dunk, um, about uh, you play Clementine on this season. A uh, bit of a spoiler, but it is what it is. Anyway, guys, without further ado, let's play season two of The Walking Dead. Okay, uh, yes, let's import the season one save. I was thinking whether the, 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 the seasons are connected or, or not in any way. Previously on The Walking Dead. What's your name? I'm Clementine. You've been all by yourself through this? I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. It's how the world works now! We are those bad people dead? I hope you know what you're doing with her. I got it! Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are. Okay, you can come, but you have to promise to stay quiet. Clementine? Clementine! <laughs> oh, no. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. <laughs> Die! That was a good shot. We, I saw my parents. I know. You have to shoot me, honey. Lee, no. Van Domeed and Krista. <laughs> this is horrible, that bit was. Now, does she look older? Probably the same age, isn't she? It's probably the same time as season what do you one. Think? Oh, Mage, you can't be serious. Excellent. I am. We are not doing that. Why not? Because. Come on, Krista. What's wrong with Omid? We're not calling our baby Omid. One of you is enough. Clementine, a little help here. Omid the second. Oh, hello. It's more no. changed. This is good. Omid Jr. No. You have to admit it has a ring to it. What if it's a girl? Then we name her Krista. But I'm Krista. I don't want to call her Krista. That's just confusing. So name her Genevieve. I don't care. How can you not care? You're not taking this seriously. I take everything seriously, especially little Omid's future. Keep talking, and you'll be sleeping in the rain tonight. Remember that time in Barstow? Vegas weekend? Why don't you, uh, uh, get cleaned up in the girls' room, Clem? I hope the sink works in there. I wouldn't count on it. Just be careful and make sure to keep track of your things. We'll be right next door. Okay. So it's good. I didn't realize that uh, Clementine did actually meet up with Omid and Krista because of the last, on the season five episode. Uh, Hello? Season one, episode five. She was on a log on her own. Um, so the UI is a little bit different. Make sure the bathroom is, is safe. Yeah, uh, okay. She's got a gun. Oh, gross. It looks seems a bit more polished as well. Ugh, what's that? Oh, it's a, it's a little bunny rabbit with a ear, one ear. <laughs> also, the fact that she's actually trusted, or I don't know, to go to a toilet on her own to check it out. Oh, look at that, nice and clean. Good. No one's here. Guess it's safe to get cleaned up. It sounds better as well. Ugh. 
And they've actually got mirrors, although they're not proper mirrors. Okay, look at the four set. Please have water. And I quite like the fact as well, they do kind of, you can use the old save as well. So I had a couple of saves going on because I would sort of do a backup save just in case the other save buggered up. So I ended up saving twice. Um, anyway, I'll take our bag, bottle of water, fill it up. I'm just trying to work out how long it's been since season one and this episode because Krista's Better. really showing now as well. Which one was it in? I mean, oh, there it is. Is that it there? I mean, it's not suddenly be a zombie now, is there? Oh no, is that Krista? Oh, well, no, wow, well, somebody. Oh, God, you left a gun out there. This is not good. I see you. Get out of there. You're not fooling me. Silence is a valid response. What are you doing? Get out here. You got anything on you? Come on, let's see. That's all I have. You don't have to do this. I ain't gonna ask again. What's your name? What's your name? My name? Why do you care? I, I was just wondering. Stupid. I'm serious. What else you got? That's it. Don't lie to me. I'll pop you. Give me what you got. I'm not screwing around. Come on. I don't have anything. Give me that hat. No. Where'd you get it? I asked you a question. My dad gave it to me. My dad gave it to me. Just give it to me. We're trying to get on the sympathetic junk, side. Junk, junk. Sympathetic side of her. Look at all this junk. Shit, shit, and more shit. Why you ain't got nothing good? Not like the last people I got. They had all kinds of good shit. That was a good catch. You ain't got nothing good. You're just a little fish. You gonna cry, little fish? This your daddy? What a bozo. <gasps> oh, God. Oh, for God, really? Oh, God, this isn't good. Death already in the first five bloody minutes. You stupid girl. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. <gasps> Okay. <laughs> okay. God. Just think what Clementine's got a C in what she has seen so far. Oh my God. Oh me. Oh me. Can you hear me? Oh me. Oh, you have to shoot him in the head then. 
to stop him turning. dead what a start wow 16 months later jesus so the baby would be born by now it'll be a boy called omid <laughs> krista talk to me Where's the baby? This will never work. Look at this. It's pathetic. The wood's too wet to burn. It's more smoke than flame. At this rate, we'll be eating this for breakfast. What else can we do? Find something that'll burn, maybe. I don't know. Won't be easy in the dark and in the rain. You should be doing this, not me. Tending a fire so you can cook and stay warm. It's something you have to be able to do, Clementine. Otherwise... Okay, let's keep moving. We need to regroup. Omid wanted to teach me... Omid said that... I know what Omid said. I'm freezing. You think this is bad? Wait till we get up to Wellington. Then talk to me about cold. If we make it. Mm. We still have a couple hard months ahead of us. This rain will turn to sleet. Then ice. Then snow. It won't be easy. Uh, is it safe one to turn? Do you think we'll make it that far? Would it be better there? It'll be better there, right? Safer, maybe. So they say. But I don't know. It has to be. I know it will. We'll see. We just need to keep moving north. She seems to have lost all of her compassion. She's very straight talking, realistic. She doesn't beat around the bush. I miss Lee. I wish Omid was here. I miss Lee. Not a good thing to I say. Miss Lee. I'm sure you do. It's basically saying that she's doing a shit job by saying that. I'm gonna go look for more wood. You just keep the fire lit. I'm thinking where the where the, where the hell is the baby? Did the baby die? Did she have a miscarriage? Did she lose it on in birth or something? I mean, you can see why Chris is a little bit, a bit cold. Okay, find the lighter to. Um, it all seems. It seems so much better. I don't know why. It just seems. It just seems um, maybe better optimized. They made the game better, I guess. Pick up the drawing. What else we got in here? Well, let's pick up the drawing just to see if it prompts any further dialogue. So that was Kenny and um, um, uh, was it? Uh, I've got his name now. Ducky, isn't it? Yeah, it just it just seems really smooth. It just seems smoother for some reason, you know. We need to have like a shelter or something over the fire, really. To stop the actual logs getting wet. Oh, press and hold. Okay. Yeah, so there's probably a few more little mechanics in, in, in incorporated now. Brought into this game. 
better, but still not enough. The flames are too low. We need to blow it then or something, do you think? I'm in license plate. Oh, you can use a license plate as a fan. This won't burn. Okay, I thought I was being clever there. I thought I was being clever. This might burn. Yes, I prefer this way. I don't know whether they just... I don't know. They obviously have some feedback. Uh, burn the drawing, burn the log. Well, burn the log, for God's sake. I'm going to burn the... She seems to have grown up quite a lot. Was that 18 months, they said? They've got Krista. Just trying to listen. Don't fucking lie to us! Who do you think you're fooling here? Give us the truth and you don't get hurt! You fucking with me? Where's the rest of your group? I, I'm by myself! Bullshit! She's lying! Cut the shit, lady! <gasps> It's it's just me. What the Krista, fuck? Krista, run! Hey! I don't know if that's a good idea or not. She, she might not be able to be saved anyway. Get the fuck over here now! Fucker! Come out here, girl. I'm not fucking around. What? Look, girl, ain't no way you're smart enough to get out of this. Just come out. Oh, hang on. Shut up, my mess up. Come on! Got your fucking hand. There's one thing they should have got rid of. So loud. I was trying to turn it down on the mixer, just as a, as a prompt was telling me to go left or right. Wow, that was good. That was really good. That was a bit more action packed. I got a feeling this is going to be a good season, guys. You know, I did see a few comments saying that the season one was the best, but no, I, I, I reckon I can. I'm, I can foresee this one being the best, actually, but we'll see. We'll see. See what happens. 
So we don't know Chris is dead yet, but we have lost her for the time being. I don't think she died. It'd be nice to get, catch up with her so we can actually find Hello? out what happened to her, her kid. Okay, we got a we got a boat over there, so we can have a check that out. Or a canoe. Let's look at the canoe first. I, I definitely prefer these the controls the way they've done it. Kids camp. Oh, that's the other half. So we, we ain't going to go anywhere in this thing. And for sure. For sure. See, I, like, I prefer this. You can actually click somewhere. This is um, definitely a, a, an improvement from the first one. With keyboard and mouse. It's probably more suited for uh, keyboard uh, controller on the first one. It's a dead walker. Well, he's got. It looks like he's got a sign in his head. Which hopefully he has. We check pockets or anything. All right, so it looks like the only thing we can do now is just go on the trail. I don't think there's any point, anything. Oh, there is some over here. Oh, grave. Oh, so I'll have to check this out. going on the trial then. I don't think there's anything else we can look at here. Probably the safest place to be, I would say, in a forest. I think this is where I would probably um, go to, rather than the city. If you can make, well, if you have, if you have food and water and that. I'm thinking that we can bump into the other gang that we paid on the DLC, the 400 days. Beware of your surroundings. Okay, we got black bells. Lo lovely. So we got potentially black bells. Black bells? Black bears? She's cold, so she needs to definitely get like a little cabin. Log cabin, I can imagine seeing a log cabin here. <laughs> Maybe. What was that? Let's hope it's not a bear. Let's hope it's not a bear. I'm getting, I think I'm getting used to jump scares now. After playing um, until dawn, actually. And I'm just going to make sure I don't miss anything on the way. Oh, it's a little Sam, a dog called Sam. It's okay, Sam. It's okay, boy. It's okay. We pat it. Check dog's collar. Do you know where we are? Pet the dog. Okay, you don't like that. Got it. Sorry.
What's he doing? He's trying to um get us to go. <coughs> yeah, he's saying like, okay. follow me. What'd you find, boy? Where are you going? Wait up. This is looks to hope he's Sam's not taking us to his dead owners. Dead zombie owners. Hello? Looks pretty run over, but you never know. Let's look around for some food. All right, we've got a few things here to have a look look around. So let's have a look around here first of all. What's this? A trash barrel? Must be something in here. Probably need some dog food for the for Sam now. Gotta check everywhere. Accept that. <sighs> well, here we go. <gasps> oh my God! Thank you. Look, a can! Now I just need hmm, something to open it with. Right, so we need to find a tin opener then. Like we're going to find one of them. Is this a barbecue? Hmm. Nothing left here. Alright, so let's have a look at this camper. Looks like it's been here for a while. Oh, this is the family there. Oh, it's Sam at the dog. Looks like they were a happy family once. Mm, once upon a time. Not anymore, though. In fact, where are their bodies? Let's search the box. Well, that's the kids' toys. Hmm, nothing edible. Oh, that was a broccoli. Is that a broccoli? A toy broccoli. <laughs> Flying disc. Let's float it for Sam. Fly it for Sam. Bet he likes a bit of frisbee. And most dogs do, don't they? Hey, wanna play? Wanna play catch? Okay, bring it back. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. Okay, let's keep going. <sighs> Empty. Better keep looking, boy. So hopefully we have Sam as our companion for the rest of the um, a season would be nice wouldn't it it's not much of a tent anymore I bet scavengers tore it apart <coughs> hey boy what's the matter oh uh, bad people I think shh we have to be quiet it's a, it's a nice box set. Cooler. Please let there be something good in there. I think we better find a weapon or something because. Oh God! No food on the grill. Nothing in the cooler. Ugh, I hate scavengers. They take everything. Uh, what's up, boy? Well, we'll have that knife for starters. It's okay. He's dead. Look, you can see the bite. Tin opener. Looks like he tried to cut it out. But that never works. Ever. It's okay. We're smart. He's not. We're smarter than all of them. Okay, should we just grab it? 
Okay, maybe not. Hey, it's okay, boy. Shh. He can't hurt us. So we'll have to get that knife. How the hell do we get that knife then? Think he had himself tied up? Or did someone force him to do this? It was probably the father. I wonder if he did it on purpose. So does it give us a clue about how to retrieve it? That looks like it hurt. I bet we could open the can with that though. Problem is, we can't get the bloody knife. Let's try one more time. Let's grab it. No, right. Okay, we need to find a way to... I don't know. In fact, we can't do anything else. We're almost like, ah, ah, ah. Okay, pick up this branch. Stand back, okay? Oh, we can hit him over the head. I can imagine it will stink as well, like rotting flesh and oh. Oh, it's like cracking an egg open, that is. <laughs> what, more? <laughs> See? We just have to stay out of their reach. Okay, so what's that? Pocket. Okay, that's good. I like to think that if they were alive, they probably want to help you. Nothing. Okay, well, let's go get this um, knife. <sighs> Still pretty sharp. Okay, well, now we're getting somewhere. Hmm. We're going to be sharing this food with Sam, I assume. I hope Sam does come with us, and I hope Sam doesn't die. The likelihood is he will be our companion, and he will die at the end. they got to add a bit of element of sadness. Please don't be bad. What actually is it? I'm just trying to think what it is. Oh, it's beans, is it? <sighs> Thank God. Come on, give Sam some. I'll be starving. Um, don't beg. Are you hungry? I guess you're pretty hungry too. Okay, feed the dog then. Here we go. Here you go, boy. Here you go. Oh! Hey, you don't eat it all! What the hell? What, what are we doing here? I don't get what we're doing here. Wow, what a nice dog. I mean... I didn't expect that. Oh god, she's all bit. She needs. She needs to get some bandages now. Uh, let's kill the dog. Him out of his misery. I mean, he's only. He only acted like that because he was hungry. His wildness came back in the day. never mess with dog. Well, yes, we also have a dog when I was younger with my parents. And if you went near the dog when they were feeding, God, they, they, it would show her teeth and growl. So, yes. Oh, 
much. He's in a bad way already. I suppose you'll need some, um, some like solution, some antibacterial stuff or whatever to, to clean out the wound. Otherwise, that's going to get infected. How old would she be now? She was nine before, wasn't she? She was nine. So she's probably about 11 now. Clementine, get some energy, get, get that. That's it. If we got running, just... I'm not sure how we're supposed to run, I was just going forward. Krista? I'm out. Grab her. Let's go. Come on, kid. We gotta get. Good guys. Is that Vince? <laughs> I think... I think we're safe. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. No, it's not, is it? That's someone else. Hey, you alright? Um, I, I, I think so. Silence. I don't know. Okay. I'll take that as a no. What are you doing out here? Where are the, uh, the people you're with? There's no chance you made it this long on your own. I don't want them thinking we're doing anything but trying to help you. My friend and I got attacked. Hmm. These folks mentioned what they were after? They might have just wanted food. We were cooking some sort of weasel. They attacked you for a weasel? Damn. That is low. They didn't mention any names, right? They weren't searching for anybody? Hmm. Well, I'm Luke, and this is Pete. Hello, Luke, hey and hello, Hi. Pete. I'm Clementine. And it's nice to meet you, Clementine. But for now, we're going to take you back to our group. Okay, we got a doctor with us, and you look like you could use some... Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, bitch, she's what? been bitten. That's it? what they think. She's, she's been bit, man. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What are we going to do here? No, it was a dog. I didn't see any dog, Clementine. Come on, kid. I swear, please believe we just me. Saw you with those look at it. There. No, no, just look at it, please. <laughs> yeah, and have you sink your teeth into Pete's neck? No way. My neck? Why am I the one? Because I don't know a dog bite from a mosquito bite from a lurker bite, man. <laughs> it's not. Come on, you gotta believe her. You gotta believe Clementine. Look at her. Let's see it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, watch yourself. Hey, don't look at me like that. You're the one that's bit here, okay? See? Is it, uh, 
So like she says? Hmm. How can they tell? Well, it could be a dog. Hard to say. So where'd this dog go? The one that did this. Now, what what does that matter, Pete? I killed it. Seriously. I I killed it. What? Really? A dog shows up and bites you and you just kill it? What would you have done? I don't know. It attacked me. Still, you don't you don't kill dogs. What if it bites you and it's Clementine? Yes. You telling us the truth? Yes, what do you You're think? Looking in the eyes when you answer. Of course I am. All right, Clementine. That's good enough for me. Well, what else was she going to say? I've got a good bullshit detector, Luke. That's why you can never beat me at poker. <laughs> you don't always beat me at... All right, how can you be sure? Well, I'm sure I ain't willing to leave a little girl in the woods to die when we got a doctor with us that can make a call. We can have Carlos take a look at it first. Nick ain't gonna like this. Not with what happened. You don't have to remind me of that, boy. Right. Sorry, sir. Come on. Clementine, are you feeling all right? I'm fine. Just tired. Well, you better be fine. Because I ain't carrying you anymore with that bite on your arm. <laughs> Don't worry about... I said she's passing out. Oh, shit. Then she was bitten by a dog. What? And you just believed her? You should have put her out of her misery right there. Dog bite my ass. I need a dog. Keep your finger off the trigger, boy. Whoa! Whoa! What the you fuck? You idiot! Every lurker for five miles probably heard You're the that. one telling me to fucking shoot her. Everybody just calm down for a second. Clementine, you okay? I just need a doctor. And then, and then I'll go. I don't want my arm to get infected. None of us want to get infected. That's the point. We got a doctor right here, okay? He'll have a look. Now what the hell is wrong with you people? Okay, she's just scared. We're all scared, Luke. Don't act like we're the ones being irrational because we don't buy this bullshit story. No way she survived out here on her own. Why are we even arguing about this? Let me take a look. It's okay. Go ahead. He's a doctor. Damn, that must have hurt. She needs antibiotics. I would have thought. Hmm. Whatever it was, it got you good. This isn't how we do things, man. When you're bit, you get put down. End of story. I'm not going through this again. No one's suggesting that. We could take her arm off. <gasps> what? Just hold on there. Uh, I know that worked for a cousin down in Ainsworth. We could try that. It won't do any good. You'll just be making it worse for the girl. It's crazy. No one's going to volunteer to do that. I would, if it means. You're going to have a kid soon, right? What if I was your daughter? That's the point, kid. You ain't. I ain't falling for that shit, little girl. If it was up to me, you'd be dead already. Oh my god, really? How could you kill? She? Sarah, what I say, stay inside. I don't mean to be any trouble. I just want to stop the bleeding and then I'll go. You'll never see me again, I promise. And where exactly would you go? Somewhere else, I can take care of myself. To find my friend Krista. Forget it. You won't get five feet. Don't look to me, girl. I want nothing to do with you. We have a mixed bunch here. So, what do you think? Was it a lurker? A bite like that could be anything. 
Only one way to find out. How? We wait. What? By tomorrow morning, if the fever set in, we'll know if she's gonna turn. In the meantime, we can lock her in the shed. What about my arm? It needs to get cleaned and, and stitched and bandaged. The girl is in bad shape, Carlos. Well, we have all that stuff inside the cabin. We could probably get by Alvin, with it. Alvin, please. But, yeah, we can't do nothing. I'm not wasting supplies on a lurker bite. If it turns out you're telling the truth, I'll clean it and stitch it up for you in the morning. But she but... might not last the morning. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's the best we're going to get. Finger off the trigger, son. I ain't your son. Don't be like that, man. It's all right. Boy's got his mom's temper. Come on. This is just a waste of time. You'll see. And when she turns, I ain't gonna be the one cleaning up the shed. My arm really hurts. It was a dog. It you'll was see. a dog. You'll see. I guess we'll find out in the morning. If I last that long, maybe you could go look for it? I wish I could. I really do, but it's too risky. Sorry. A oh, poor Clementine. I can't believe they would treat a 11-year-old uh, girl like this. Even if she was bitten by a zombie, the fact she's not turned yet, and they're talking to her like this. Why are we doing this? It's so fucking dumb. Because it's safer this way, and I'd rather be sure. Yeah, but safer for who? <sighs> I can't believe this. <sighs> You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. Actually, I guess she's probably ten, actually. Ten and a half? Who knows? If you guys know, then let me know. I'm guessing, I'm guessing 10 and a half, or nearly 11, or just turned 11, I don't know. She can just get something to bandage herself up, that would be perfect. Not much left in here. I guess if I have to, I can use this for stitches. She's going to perform self-stitching. Okay, I'm not sure we want to board four. Well, maybe just to escape, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's keep looking around. We got um, a vice. There's something behind. I thought I saw. Okay, pegboard. Pegboard. Hmm. We need a needle. Where would you get? Would you get a needle from somewhere? What is that? Life preserver. Oh, okay, life preserver. I was like, why, why are you looking at that for? Anchor? Anything here? No, nothing here. Right, there was something up here. What's that? A hammer. Oh, we could use that to pry the board off. Right, so we can't get that, right? I was hoping we could get that. Oh, hang on, what's this? Table. Oh, so we can use the table then to get the hammer to pry the board off. Okay, let's gra grab that. Oh, come on, grab it, grab it. Oh. Let's pick it up. I mean, are we thinking about escape? Oh, maybe we're just escaping. We're not. I, I thought we we're just trying to stitch ourselves, ourselves up. Oh, e. 
Not paying attention. Okay, let's kick that off. So what we could do, we can sneak into the house or we just gonna sneak away. I'll probably hmm. We have a doctor. He's gotta have stuff for stitches. Right, so we need a needle then. So we have to get into the house. Okay. We creep. Oh. Find the way to the cavern and take a needle, peroxide, and some bandages. Okay. And avoid the zombies and avoid any um well don't make any noise basically. We've got a few options we can go in there. We've got a window. We've got a door. Let's try this one first. Window. Can we open that? It's Oh, there's a bloody zombie coming as well. Right, can we open this door? We might be going to go further. I might go further around, actually, see if there's anything. Ah, there's a door here. We need almost a dark window. No, it has a moment without a light on. That's too high for us. Ah. What is this for? We can get in that way then. Hammer, hammer, hammer. Good thinking. Oh, let's be quick. Oh, let's not make any noise. So, I was um, I did say earlier on the um on the episode 400 days. I was gonna leave a video for the next week, but I think I'll just post on a. Five minutes. I'll post them and that's good. It won't take long. There's a few things we need to discuss. Five. I'm gonna post on a Monday and a Thursday anyway, I think, of this game going forward. Until we finish it. Oh what's this a trap door? Um use an iPhone trap door. Just... Right, let's not use a hammer. Let's see if we can use a knife on the trap door. Yeah, if I just do one episode a week, guys, I think we're going to be on this forever. <laughs> that's a long... That's a lot of episodes to get through. Made my well, Luke has more to say, I guess. Where's Sarah? He's got her book. He doesn't need to be a part of it. Okay, looks like we can't go it. We can't back out or anything, so we'll have to open this door. So that's all we can do. Okay, should we listen in on the kitchen door? Could be, we don't know. She's connected to somebody. There's no way she's out here by herself. She said she was with a friend and they got attacked. Yeah, right. Whoever she's with, they'll probably come looking for her. Great. They show up and we've got her locked in the shed. You think we should bring her in here? No, I'm just saying it wouldn't look too good. It's just a precautionary measure. Anyone else would do the same. You really think Carver would come after us? You think he wouldn't? He's not exactly the type to Carver. let things lie. What happened, happened. There's nothing we can do about it now. Let him come. I really don't give a damn. Alvin. What? I don't. That's one of those fish. Not one of those singing fishes on the wall, is it? <laughs> 
Is this the doctor's office? He likes his um, animals. Duck. Oh, duck. He's thinking about Ducky, was he? Was she? Right, I can't go. I can't go anywhere else around here. So we came from we came from that door. Okay, I can't walk down there. So Okay, I guess go upstairs then. These two doors to um the bedroom door. I wonder if I can see that girl's is Sarah. <laughs> Sarah reading her books. You're not supposed to be in here. Can you help me? Don't make a sound, okay? Hey, don't make a sound. I'm just trying to fix my arm. Oh, um, what do you want? I need your help. My dad says I shouldn't talk to you. I'm gonna get in trouble. Help me and I won't eat, uh, tell him. <laughs> eat him, I don't know why I thought that. What are you reading? What are you reading? A book? What book? I like books. It's called The Gurgles. It's about trans-dimensional body snatchers. Cool. What happened to you? A dog bit me. Sounds scary. I bet it hurts. I could die if I don't take care of it. I could die if I don't take care of it. Do you understand? Sarah. I need something to clean it with. Bandages. And I need to sew some of it up. It's too deep. My dad says we're out of real bandages. But I know where to get something to clean it. That's what this supplies. I'll help you. Thank Good. you. Thank you. I'm Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hi, I'm Clementine. I'm Clementine. We're friends. Right? We can be best friends. I haven't met another girl my age since way before. It's hard to be the only girl, you know? Rebecca is okay, but she's old. And that's it. Yes. We are friends. Promise? It's important. Friends have to trust each other, no matter what. Do you promise or not? Alright, fine. I get it. I promise. Me too. Friends. Okay, little pinky... Pinky shake. A pinky swears forever. Are we going to end up breaking her trust? I'll see if I can find the stuff my dad uses when I get a gun. Let me look around. We can end up breaking a trust somehow. This is why I was a bit dubious of putting promise. I think this is it. That'll work. You can't do it here, though. Someone will find you. Don't worry. I won't. Thanks, Sarah. You need a needle and bandages. 
We can't go to the bathroom door. Okay, let's let's go there. I don't know if that was a prompt because I wanted to go to the bathroom or not. Oh, medicine cabinet. Oh, needle. Here we go. One needle. It's clean. So all I'll we need. Still need some bandages, though. I say, I just need bandages now, or a cloth, a bit of cloth. Get me in some time. So I don't know what this girl's problem is. Was who she? Was that? Was it Rebecca? Just need to have this baby. <laughs> let it be okay, and let it be his. Oh. So she's been a little bit naughty, not knowing who the baby is. Right, so we can keep going then. Um, bathroom door, so let's keep going. Right, so we need some rags or something. Maybe there's something in that wardrobe, you would think. Oh, a watch, we'll have that. Stick it on your wrist, Clem. Rags, there we go, rags. Not exactly bandages, but they should help stop the bleeding. To get back to the shed. Okay. Is it worth having a little look around first? We might see some stuff here. A board game, chess game, by the looks of it. Oh no, it's not a chess game. Ah, oh, what's that game called? Okay, let's go back then. Let's go back to the shed. Hopefully, I'm uh, getting spotted. We might have to go through the window of of um of Sarah's place, Sarah's bedroom. I'm just guessing. Okay, maybe not then. This is a bad, bad, bad bit now. Stitching your own arm up. Oh my goodness me. That is fishing wire. Isn't it? But yeah, doing this at 10 or 11. This is gonna suck. This is gonna hurt like a bitch. Let's get some of this on first. This is gonna sting like crazy. Oh my god, the pain. Okay. Okay, I'm good. I'm fine. 
Now the fun part. It's a big eye. It's a big eye of the needle, so... No. Just like last time. Just how Crystal showed me. Right, let's not bugger this up for her. What? Oh. Oh my god, that sends shivers down my spine. I think she's going to faint after this. I have so much more respect now for this girl. I love it they do a nice, nice close-up as well. Last one, last stitch. This is making me feel weird. Ooh. Well, fair play to you, girl. Let's get the bandage on. do that and she'll probably faint. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> what the hell? I keep missing the actual... I feel I've got to click it in the actual circle. Oh my goodness me. She's had a, she's had a bad time, she is, so far. Look what, can we, can we just do something? What can I do then? Whoops. Oh, here's a brick, there's a brick. I didn't see that brick. Another brick. Any more bricks? You can run out of bricks in a minute. Oh, hammer, 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 yes. Hammer. Right on the edge. Oh my bloody hell. Fair play to her. Fair play. She is properly, properly hardened up. Holy shit. What the? How the hell did it get in here? Little girl's tough as nails. Are you alright? The shed should have been safe. Still not bitten. I never was. And you left me out here to die. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? Oh, come this on. This doesn't change a thing. 
She hasn't done anything to us. Says the man not carrying a baby. Enough already. You left me no choice. You could have just left. Relax, Rebecca. Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. I do not like Rebecca. Damn look, sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? Starving, Marvin. As long as it's not um, roast Mark again <laughs> of season one. This might hurt a little. Ow. How she look? Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So it wasn't a lurker bite. If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. I wish you wouldn't have done what you did. I was hurt and you weren't helping. What do you mean? What do you mean? You manipulated my daughter. Oh. I asked for her help. She's not someone you can just ask for help. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Learning difficulties, maybe? Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially, but once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. If she knew how bad the world is, what it's really like out there, she would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left, and I would ask that you stay away from her. I'm sorry, I didn't know. She needs to grow up sometime. I'm sorry, I didn't know. It's okay, you're forgiven. Just don't make any more mistakes. Or maybe she's got a brain of a, like a child. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. It reminds me like of Chris Pratt. Is it Chris Pratt? A little bit. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. It's ugly. It doesn't bother me. Better than losing it. Better than losing it. Now you can say that again. Scars? They're way cooler than stumps. What? Nothing. I just had a friend who lost his arm once. That's all. Apology. Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry for well, for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. No, it was not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely had one out there. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad experience once. We've all had bad experiences. Um... What happened? Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. I... It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway, hopefully you understand. See, I'm waiting for Rebecca to apologize. Bad things happen to everyone, I guess. Yeah, I do. I do. Yeah. Oh, she's seen so, so much grown up. Since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? About moving on, I don't know. Maybe stay here. Yes. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of on my own now. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. Okay, let yourself heal up. Take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? 
They'll just have to deal. Oh, Rebecca. So, what happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. They died. That's tough. I, uh, I lost my folks, too. Hey, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have asked. My parents just left and never came back. I was left with my baby sister at first. Oh. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them. But they were already dead. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. He's a good bloke. Then I met Lee. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it. But it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. I kept my hair as well. <laughs> He's the reason I keep my hair short. What uh, happened to him? The same thing that happens to everyone. But he saved me first. Lots of times. Well, sounds like he was a real good guy. Yeah. He was. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. A couple fresh brookies for dinner? Hmm, wouldn't that be nice? Hello, Pete. Hey, Pete. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure what to make of Pete. I think he's a good guy. I think he's nice. Oh, you're still here. Oh, here we go. Come on, then. No apology, I expect. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Luke invited me to stay. Whose baby is it? Whose baby is it? Excuse me? Yes. If it's not Alvin's, whose is it? You shut your fucking mouth. You should probably think about being nicer to me. I don't like her. I wouldn't. I don't know. She's just... That's just my advice. Well, then, Clem. I knew you were going to be a fucking problem. You got what you came here for. Now go. What is her problem? She's got attitude. I don't know. Maybe I should have been nicer to her, but I just couldn't be bothered. How you holding up? I heard you got an earful from Rebecca last night. Once she gets going, there's no bringing her back. Her bark's worse than her bite. What's her problem? Yeah, well, she's got a lot on her mind lately. Bringing a baby into a world like this. Oh, didn't... How far are these fish traps? It ain't much further. Anyone teach you how to shoot? By that I mean taught proper. Any idiot with a finger can shoot. Yeah, but not a rifle. Well, that makes sense. Less kick. This thing would probably knock you on your ass. Nick was about your age, first time I took him hunting. Came across this beautiful 13-point buck just standing there on the ridge line. The boy takes the rifle, he lines up the shot just like I taught him, and then I hear him start whining. He turns to me and he says, I can't do it. 
I can't shoot it, Uncle Pete. Please don't make me shoot it. Really? No way. Hey! Why didn't you wait? You want us standing around while you piss on a tree? You know where the river is, boy. Anyway, so I grab the gun out of his hand before the big buck runs off, when bang, the gun fires. Boy nearly gut shot me. And of course, the buck gets away. What are you going and telling her this shit for? Because you almost blew her face off yesterday. Seems relevant. Trying to let her know it's nothing personal with you. Why are you always giving me a hard time? Because you're always giving everyone else a hard time. I apologized already. She accepted. Okay, well I didn't know that. I want to hear the rest of the story. You're always trying to embarrass me. You're doing a good enough job of that on your own. Leaving us again. I know where the fucking river is. So anyway, I found that buck later that season. Shot it right in the neck. Brought it up to my sister's figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role. Even if it means people you love hate you for it. He doesn't hate you. He's a jerk. You should tell him that. You should tell him that. He's thinking about Uncle it. Uncle Pete! Nick! Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Ah, full of holes. Who do you think did this? Not sure yet, but it ain't your average gang of thugs, that much I know. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? Check those guys there. Be careful. Some of them might still be moving. What can I do? See if you can find anything else. Like what? Like what might tell us who did this. So who the bloody hell is this Carver then? It's going to be our the main enemy, the main problem for this season, isn't it? This one's shot too. Through the head? Yeah. Check the rest. And look for ammo. We're running low. Okay, look for ammo. We're running low. Okay, we'll do that. Um, talk to Nick. Let's talk to Nick. Can I help? I got it. Okay, where else we go then? We've done it. Oh, what's this? Sandbag. There are more out there. This wasn't no rinky-dink pissing match. What was it then? Fubar. Where are you going? We need to get the fuck out of here. Gotta check the rest. What? Why? Calm down and think about it, son. Calm down? We gotta get out of here now. Jesus Christ, get a hold of yourself. What if someone's alive, Nick? Who cares? Because they might just be inclined to tell us who did this. We gotta do this now. Stay here. Keep searching these. This is a dumb idea. You know, Nick, I don't like this either. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to realize a simple truth. What, that you're an asshole? That nobody in this world is ever gonna give a goddamn whether you like something or not. You gotta grow up, son. Whatever. Come on, Clem. You want to be useful? Keep a lookout on that tree line. Whoever did this might still be out there, waiting for another sucker to stumble across this mess, just like baiting a fish. I'd be more useful with a gun. I don't doubt it. At some point, you guys have to trust me. Hell, I trust you. But not everyone's at that point yet. Give them time. Look, just keep your head on straight. Yeah, we got, we got, we got a walker. Don't shoot him in the edge, or Same deal. He shot to pieces. Hope this isn't anyone you know. No. Good. That's it. Silent. Damn it. More on that side. 
You check out these ones. See if there's anything on them that'll tell us who they were. So Pete said foobar, and I was thinking, what's foobar? Is it fucked up beyond all recognition? I don't know. Right, uh, look at this body here. I can't quite look at this body. What's going on? Okay. That's not... I was expecting to see. I was expecting to see Krista. Which would be bad. Hopefully, we don't see Krista. How is there a bag there? Is this the guys? Is this the guys that attacked him? <coughs> That's my backpack. <coughs> you were in the woods with Krista, the woman I was with. What happened to her? Please tell me. Tell me. <coughs> Please. Hmm. He only wants water. <coughs> Give him water, then he'll speak. Oh shit. Oh god. Pete, I'm fine. I'm fine. Just just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. We didn't need that noise, did we? Lurkers! I'm out of ammo! Come this way! Bitch! Damn it! You get your asses over here, both of I'll you! I'll cover you! <laughs> we don't know about Krista yet. We gotta get out of here! Get over here, god damn it! Can't you listen to me once? Just one time? I've got ammo! Well, are we gonna say Oh no, we should have saved Pete! I wanted to say Pete, but I didn't know it was a choice like <laughs> Right, no save, 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 no save, save, save him, save him, save him, save him, you prat. Oh, for Saved him. Yeah, but you could have saved him if How you're. You just leave him? Well, okay, we buggered up then, guys. There, but, um, I thought that Nick could have. Yeah. So, um, split decision achievement locked. So yes, I buggered up then because I should have gone with Pete, but I was thinking that I don't know. I was thinking maybe that Nick could have saved Nick, then Nick could have saved Pete, but it didn't work out that well at all. So, did you try to save Krista? You and 58.7% of players stopped to help Krista. This is all nice and spanking and cleaner, isn't it, as well? Uh, did you kill the dog? Halfway, really, wasn't it there? Did you accept Nick's apology? Again, halfway. Did you give water to the dying man? Okay, so um, we were in the minority, but only by a little bit then. And 40% and us went for uh, Nick. So we're not far off, to be honest. It's almost in the middle there. Okay, that is episode one on uh, season two, done and dusted. So far, so good. This is a pretty good uh, opening episode there, I think. So I hope you've enjoyed it, guys. And hopefully I will see you on the next episode. Until then, take care.